The views and opinions of this broadcast do not reflect the views and opinions of Armed Media, UNU Productions and its affiliates. Enjoy the show. Everyone, today is Friday, and as always at 9 p.m., this is uh, Behind the Velvet Rock with Irina. Welcome to our show, and I have a very special guest today a model and actress, Angelica Babrola. Angelica, say hello to everyone. Hi, I'm so excited to be here. Thank uh, you so much. So, I hope you guys visited our page on Facebook, uh, which is called Behind the Velvet Rock with Irina, and you saw all the gorgeous pictures of Angelica. <laughs> and if you want to see her live, Please join us. We are doing Facebook Live on our page right now. So it's Behind the Velvet Rope with Irina User Facebook. left your channel. And uh, that's where you can see our lovely faces. Yeah. So, <laughs> so how are you doing today, Angelica? I'm good. Thank you so much. I feel much better. You just made my day. I, I love it here. I would love to tell you guys a story about me. And share my experience with everyone. So, and we would love to hear the story. So, Thank you are originally from where? Uh, Lithuania. Lithuania. Yeah. So, for those who is not very familiar with the geography, it's it's somewhere in Europe, right? Yeah. It used to be a part of former Soviet Union, mm -hmm. but Correct. for the last almost twenty years now, it's an independent country. Yeah. Right. Oh, so, you did your <laughs> geography <laughs> lessons well. <laughs> Well, we're actually neighbors. I am from the uh, Kaliningrad, so Baltic area of mm -hmm. Russia, that both uh, part of Russia is the neighbors. So mm -hmm. we actually can take a, a bus ride or a car and we will be get there. In, in, in Lithuania. So which city are you from? Uh, from Kaunas. Kaunas, yeah. okay. And how long have you been here in the United States? I've been here for about eight years. Eight yeah. years. It's okay. a long time. So... Um, <laughs> What is your favorite memory about the home? About the home? Oh, food. Food? Okay, <laughs> yeah. what, what kind of food? Yeah, I like um, chicken, mashed potatoes, all the national, uh, national dishes. Okay. Um, so models eat after all? Oh, trust me, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you're just blessed with all very good genetics? Right, <laughs> yeah, I'm tr trying and, you know, all working out. Um, I, got, came, I came to United States with a um, track and field scholarship. So I came as a runner. Track, track and field, wow. Yeah. So you were an um, athlete in, in Russia, I mean Lithuania, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm, yeah. And then you came here on a scholarship. Mm -hmm. For which school? Uh, Kansas State University. Wow. Which wow. is like all the way up north. Um, I yeah. actually graduated from the same oh, university. Oh, yeah, I see. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's so, an amazing school. Yeah, and it grew so much. Like when, we, when I started it, it was kind of a smaller college, mm -hmm. but it just expanded and grew so much. So... I think we'll all make it famous nowadays. All right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't know Angelica when I was back at college, and I actually um, met you through some of our friends. I think it's our almost first in-person meeting. No, we mm -hmm. saw each other on set. I yeah, think, on from, set, During yeah. the filming. But there was quite a few Russian people, so I don't think we ever spent the time to get in, actually yeah. getting to know each other. Yeah. Yes, but I've, I'm your... Um, Follow on Instagram. I love all your photos. Oh, uh, thank you. you. Amazing model uh, and such a beautiful, beautiful pictures. So, oh, thank you so much. Um, yeah, I'm also adored by your profile. When I first saw you, I was like, oh, she must be Russian. My people, you know. And then, yeah, I saw your page and I was like, wow, impressive. Yeah. Wow, well, thank you. Yeah, I actually worked with a lot of photographers who worked with you, mm -hmm. and I always heard um, great things about you. Actually, one of the photographers, when I was just starting, he was talking so highly about you. He said, like, you guys oh, should do a photo shoot together. <laughs> really? You should yes, learn. Should. Like, she's so natural. She's so good with cameras. So please, uh, you know, learn from mm -hmm. Angelica. Aww. And I was, you know, since then, I was trying to organize something. And I think mm -hmm. finally we're getting close to actually shooting together. Right. Right. <laughs> this girl will definitely will. <laughs> we definitely will from now on. Yeah, right? this month. <laughs> so um, let's talk about a little bit about modeling. You know, because I'm hoping a lot of aspiring models, uh, guys and girls, are yeah. watching us. And I consider that you made a, a great progress. So um, how long have you been modeling? Um, I've been modeling for about, let's say, seven years. But like um, 
really getting hard on it, maybe like a year and a half. Okay. So, yeah. um, were you a model um, in Lithuania? I started right before I left, you know, um, I decided to do a sports photo shoot with my best friend and we were kind of boxing for a shoot and I saw the pictures and I was like, hey, actually, we could good. do that. You know? <laughs> I look good on camera, right? I was like, no, it looks different. You know, you can make, you can basically on pictures, you can make yourself to be whoever you want to be, you know, you can look like you're a boxer, runner, princess. Gangster, you know, anyone who you would possibly imagine. That's why I thought, you know what? Let me just get deeper into that industry and just find out mm. how it is. So, uh, what's your opinion? Do you are you born a model, or you? It, it takes practice, and anybody can become a model. Honestly, I think that anyone can become a model as long as you put a hundred percent of your effort. Of course, some people are, you know, born with like. Six, they're fit, six feet tall models, you know. <laughs> so yeah, then you can say, yeah, she's born to be a model. Mm -hmm. But you know, for somebody who is like, you know, average height or you know, different shapes and stuff, you can still become a model as long as you know your angles, you know how to pose. Mm -hmm. You do a lot of studying, like sit on YouTube, you know, like. So you... that was actually my next question. So, mm -hmm. do you prepare for the photo shoots? And if um, yes, how do you prepare? Yes, I I prepare. Um, I just say I, I go to on YouTube a lot. I type like how to post quickly, you know, thirty seconds, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or um, I go on Pinterest. It's uh, really, I think it's an amazing app and website mm -hmm. because you could just type anything that you have on your mind. Like let's say you have a um, Calvin Klein inspired photo shoot. And you know, you have to pose the underwear and it's like, you know, you have to hide this arm, that side. And it's good to type the like, Colin Klein poses and you pop up a lot of different pictures, suggestions. And do you practice the poses in front of the mirror before you go into live or you just kind of get an idea in your head and then you just hope and it will eventually come, I mean, yeah. it will come to you during the photo shoot. What's the, do you actually take enough, make an effort of standing there and posing mm -hmm. and trying to repeat the poses? You see, I think that I should, uh, I should stand in front of the mirror and actually like, uh, you know, mimic all these poses. Mm -hmm. But as soon as I try maybe just a few of them and just, we'll just try to memorize like a picture memory mm -hmm. or uh, if I really don't have time and there's no mirror around me, I'll just, you know, take my phone, be on a selfie and just see, you know, how, it is like actually, I think that's very good advice is to take a, a picture on your phone, mm -hmm. try to take pictures, you know, different angles, even though it's not going to look professional, but at least you would know yeah. how you look. Your angles. Yeah. Okay. And, and I see that, you know, you, you like certain angles. Like I've saw like a couple photos of you mm -hmm. that is pretty much the same pose and it's, it yeah. kind of looks amazing. Oh, know, thank you so outfit, much. Yeah. <laughs> but I kind of feel like you, like you found it and it's like, oh yeah, that makes me look so sophisticated yeah. and beautiful. So yeah, I mean, I also try to imitate poses, mm -hmm. you know, and sometimes I feel like, okay, this angle works for that particular model, mm -hmm. but it doesn't really work for me. Yeah. You know? So you have to try it. I mean, I look for at, at it uh, for inspiration, mm -hmm. but I notice like, even if I have a bunch of pictures on my phone and I try to imitate, when you get, when I get on a, you know, start working the photo shoot, it just comes up something in between, you know, it's a little bit of me yeah. and what I know about my angles and poses and what I've seen others model doing. And then you come up with something, mm -hmm. you know, combined, combined. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I know like, so as a model, do you like giving a lot of directions or do you like that freedom when you just, you know, give me whatever, you just tell you do what you, you know, what you do, what you do best, yeah. you know, you're a professional, I will just follow you with a camera. Yeah. So which one do you prefer? Do you prefer the instructions or? Oh, uh, you see, um, at first I preferred to do my own, you know, no instructions, just, you know, pose the angles I memorized in my head the most mm -hmm. and I'll just be doing the same angles. But actually, then I was looking at my pictures and I was thinking, why I'm scared to do the other side? I feel like I have like two two different sides on my face. Like a good side and a bad side. Right, exactly. <laughs> Don't we all have that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah so, and, and then I realized, I showed there's some photographers who actually was like, you know, they, like, they said, Angelica, you know, switch your sides. And I'd be like, oh, oh my God, I'm not ready. You know? They'd be like, just do it. And then, so I kind of start liking directions because that mm -hmm. way you're not stuck only 
doing the same thing. Yeah, doing the same thing and just being, just doing you, you know, you also, it's okay to do different angles and different poses and try variety because, hey, you at might, the end of the day, you're going to look different. Yeah, you might find something new you like, right? Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where do you see, like, you? I know you signed with agency recently. Um, mm -hmm. Was it uh, difficult for you to get signed? And what would you recommend to people who are looking for the agency? How do you get signed? Like, should you have certain things prepared? What are they looking mm -hmm. for? Like, can you give any, any advice about that? Um, yeah, like, uh, currently I'm signed with uh, Miles Models. And yeah, it took me a while to to find an agency. Um, it's a, it's hard to say. Uh, you just have to be okay to take criticism. Mm -hmm. You know, and sometimes a lot of agencies would say, "Hey, you're beautiful, but like you look different. We have too many blonde girls. We have too many girls that look European." Mm -hmm. Or or they would say, um, "You have to change your look. Have to dye your hair." Or something. So it depends how willing, how far you willing to go with your look to be assigned an agency. But I say just, you know, you have to just try, go hard and go forward. Don't be disappointed if somebody says, hey, you're too short or something, you know. Mm -hmm. There's always somebody that's going to look for the look that looks like you. So, yeah. So you just need to find those, those people who look for your look. Yeah. So, yeah, it's never stopped. You supply everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been on many sets. Um like a movie sets, photo shoot sets, and I met, you know, quite enough people who are big in acting and modeling right now, and, yeah, they all said, they all told me, they said, never stop, you know, if somebody says no to you, just ignore that. <laughs> ignore and keep going, right? Yeah, exactly. Because, you know, it's it's not a secret that photographer f photographers have their models, they love working with, their preferred type of model, mm -hmm. they love to work. There are some people who don't like to work with me, you know, there are some mm -hmm. people who looking forward to work with me and yeah. want to do it again and again. So it depends on what is your the style of photography, what they consider to be beautiful, what mm -hmm. is it they know how to shoot, yeah. you know? I think some photographers, they just don't know how to shoot certain types of bodies. Like, you know, That's for example, true. I'm a curved model, right? So uh, for some photographers, they can say, oh, I don't do fat models. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't shoot fat models, right? Yeah, that's 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 yeah. Then, <laughs> well, you, nobody actually mm -hmm. ever told me that. Yeah. But I, I know that's what they think. But yeah, because they would, you know, find the millions of excuses. And then mm -hmm. if you keep pressing for photo shoot, or if you keep trying to get a mm -hmm. job, through them, they find it just like, well, you know, it's only size zero through four. And then, mm -hmm. oh, okay. So that's their it's way like, to tell you, oh, I'm sorry, I don't deal with curve mm -hmm. models. Like if you size six or eight or 10, mm -hmm. I, I don't know how, what to do with yeah. you. I don't know how to shoot you, you know? But at the same time, there are some people who prefer that. They actually know how to make, how to help you to look your best. Yeah, exactly. So, and, and you know, they don't like, for example, to skinny, skinny models. They have another problem, you know, they yeah. tell the girls who are size zero through four, like, I'm sorry, I'm not working with size zero through four. Yeah. You know? So it's like, yeah, you, it's you, like you, you don't know what exactly, you, you know, and you, you shouldn't be frustrated by that. Mm -hmm. It's just their personal preferences and it just means you will have to work with somebody else. And so many yeah. girls feel like, just because a couple photographers, a couple agencies said no, that they're not going to make it in the industry. Mm -hmm. And I think in industry always looks for unique faces. Yeah. You know, it's, it's always this next eat girl. Mm -hmm. It might be somebody yeah. who got so many no's before. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like, and I saw such a great progress uh, on your photos. Like, you know, I look at your earlier photos just a couple of years ago and mm -hmm. you know your facial expression your poses are so different from what you do now like oh, really? of mm -hmm. course of course and i mean the most recent photographs you look you look like this okay that could be a cover that could be an editorial you know mm -hmm. spread in a walk you know you got it you know all that practice yeah, well, I, appreciate <laughs> your opinion. I mean all this practice it pays off you know it's a constant yeah. it's a lot of hard work and i think um many people don't realize that as a model, it takes a while uh, until you actually start enough making enough money financially, yeah. where that's your uh, sole income. You know, yeah. so many models have to supplement it with you know all the different kinds of mm -hmm. income. And you told me you were in New York during the fashion week. Right? Yeah. So how was your experience in New York? Um, New York your was your best memory? Was your worst memory? <laughs> and how did the whole experience? Oh. Work? <laughs> Um, yeah, New York is, you know, amazing place to go, really competitive because 
every every model is out there you know there is always going to be somebody who looks better than you you know who is taller than you who has longer hair you know just just different and so you have to be such a strong mind in new york because you have a strong opinion and you know just try to not fall for be like oh my gosh they look much better than me mm -hmm. but yeah um I see it's really hard to get paid in modeling unless you do like a work as like a print job, you know, like if you're doing like e-commerce. E-commerce is probably the that's like bread, bread and butter right now mm -hmm. for the models, right? All those, yep. commercial, all those websites which need uh, clothes, clothes yeah. sales and stuff like that. So, and yeah. So, you know, like when I went to New York, I tried, you know, it was fashion week. So I was going to castings. I would have like maybe five to six castings a day. Wow. We have to go you know, stand in a long line. Mm -hmm. and wait. Just to hear sometimes. Uh, yeah. Sorry, you, you don't, you're not for us, right? Uh -huh, exactly. <laughs> like, uh, uh, I guess I got so many no's. I got some yes, you know, just because mm -hmm. they're, they're just always, I feel like some, most of the time, the designers and like producers, they already know who they're looking for. Mm -hmm. So even if you're the most beautiful girl on the planet, but if they're not looking for you, you know, mm -hmm. they will have to say no. And it's like, it's not because you look this or that way. It's just because we just, you they just don't look. They have a certain look yeah. in mind already. Mm -hmm. that, that's what they're looking for. Yeah, yeah. And I, I've been told so many no's because of the way I look. Mm -hmm. People say I, I look too skinny. You know, they'll be like, oh, you size zero. They're like, we need size two or four. Mm -hmm. And some of them would say, I look too big. So it's like, <laughs> it's never enough, you know? <laughs> size zero is too big. <laughs> yep. And it's, it's just never, it's just never enough. So you have to be like, just be like, okay, cool. Well, thanks for opinion. Bye. You know? Thanks. Door. Right. <laughs> yeah. So, um, do you see that you changed as a person, uh, since you become a model and since you get so much rejection in the industry, did it, did it change mm. you? as a person, you know, from what you've been before you started mm -hmm. doing that? And if yes, how? Yeah, I think, um, I think it kind of changed me. All these no's made me a stronger person, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm, I'm just very sensitive in general, you know. So when, when, even when Wait, I was in oh. high school, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, when I was in high school, I was uh, ugly Betty. You know, Aww. yeah, all the people be like, oh, you have such a big forehead. You look like an alien, you know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> I, see, I mean, kids can be cruel, oh, yep. especially in schools, you know. <laughs> yeah, I think I are. never realized how pretty I was. I mean, I got some attention back in Russia. I don't think I ever realized how, uh, I never got so much attention when I, how, as I got when mm -hmm. I got to the United States. Yeah. Like the first year in the United States, I was like, like, why are they all staring at me? Why are they all mm -hmm. want to take me out? Like, yeah. <laughs> why all those boys are knocking on my doors? Like, yeah. What but in yeah. Russia, you know, like I think in Lithuania too, overall culture is, uh, is not very supportive. Mm -hmm. And girls are so yeah. competitive with each other. And, so really, yeah. and guys would hardly ever give you any compliments. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not as open about their emotions. Yeah, <laughs> it's, just, it's just different standards in there, you know. Like, mm -hmm. um, yeah, when I first came here, it was just so, everything was so different. Mm -hmm. And when I came here, I was like, oh, actually, I can do this. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, you can actually have a huge forehead and look different unless you're from another planet. And... You know, just be yourself and actually be the person who people love to see you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was really glad about it. It's like you can, you have an opportunity, you have more opportunities to prove yourself. Right. Yeah. So, and I think it's amazing that with some photographers, they are able to see that inner beauty of you. Mm -hmm. You're not maybe even aware yet mm -hmm. of what is beautiful about you, mm -hmm. but different photographers de see that different angles and different parts of you that they consider be amazing. And then you see it in the pictures. I know it happens to me. I look at some of my photos and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm cute. Girl, <laughs> I saw your pictures and I was like, oh, she is so beautiful. <laughs> no, and the same like... with yours, you know, like, um, I mean, to, to me, you are one of my favorite personal oh, models on, on Instagram, you. you know, <laughs> and, and it's not just because you see it in here, you know, mm -hmm. I, trust me, I've invited you because I wanted to meet you in person and oh, I wanted so to nice. learn from you, you know, mm -hmm. so, <laughs> how, how to, you know, become better because mm -hmm. As I said, I heard a lot about you. I saw your pictures. I saw your progress. And I think it's amazing that what you were able to accomplish, you know, through mm -hmm. constant practice and, you know, just ignoring those yeah. negativity of some of the people who would 
maybe not be so kind yeah you know, to you either agents either photographers or yeah. even peers you know like girls can be mean too you know oh yeah no <laughs> that would be good <laughs> like a lot of a lot of people you know who i you know who are around me and um they would just say why are you doing this and they'd be like you have the whole college degree you know mm -hmm. why don't you just go and work in the office or something or so you why know? do you do this like i, I get that question yeah too because it's just um you can just i feel like uh modeling and acting gives you the ability to be who you always wanted to be even though you get lines you get you know different looks of makeup and everything you can express that person through yourself mm -hmm. so yeah i think this is i think the the best thing that i like the most that you can be outside of what people perceive you are yes right? you could just feel free mm -hmm. and still do you you know right yeah this is what I like the most about it and yeah so i always say everyone's like okay well people say oh you can't model when you're like old and i'm like they're always looking for people in different ages mm -hmm. and you know when i get i guess super old i'll open my own agency <laughs> Well, even yeah. even when you get super, super old, you know, like I think overall our population is getting older mm -hmm. and they start looking, especially in commercials and oh, yeah. jobs, they're looking for, um, you know, beautiful older people mm -hmm. like in their 60s and 70s because you oh, still yeah. have to sell those products and services. Yeah. And um, right now, actually, I was talking to my agent recently during mm -hmm. one of the events and she said she does need active adults in their 60s mm -hmm. and uh, early 70s who she has jobs for, but she yeah. doesn't have anybody on her roster or not enough people mm -hmm. in her agency who she can actually submit for those for those jobs mm -hmm. and roles. So, yeah, I mean, that's just something I was recently talking in my blog about. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually have a blog, there's a link on my page, that, you know, your appearance, and if you're making an excuse of not trying to be an actor or a model because of your appearance, mm -hmm. remember that right now, all the unique faces are hot. All the things oh, like yeah. strangest, stranger things, working there, yeah. they they created the need for those interesting faces. Mm -hmm. You know, if you have something different about you, if you don't look like you had a bunch of surgery, you know, plastic surgeries, or you know, you have something unique about you, like um, something is not proportional mm -hmm. sometimes. You know, like yeah. or you know, you have a feature which stands out and is very unique. They, you are actually the person they are looking for right now. You know, yeah. they, they need those interesting faces. And if you tell yourself, oh, I'm, I'm just playing, I'm like nobody, I'm, I'm just like like any person. Well, guess what? Somebody has to portray those people in the yeah. movies too. Exactly. And those are usually the, the hardest working actors because they need just the real type of people mm -hmm. on, uh, in the movies or commercials. So somebody who's next door, who is not, who is not too pretty or too unique, just regular person, yeah, just regular. Know, so that most people can relate to that person. So whatever your excuses, either you are not pretty or you are too plain, uh, that's actually uh, not the right excuse. If you want to be yeah. in this industry, you still can make it. Even even in a, in the modeling, sometimes you look at the faces and is the person pretty? No, but you definitely look three or four times in that picture trying to see what is this, yeah. this face, you know? The face is so interesting that it actually catches the eye, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's what, uh, you know, some brands and some agencies are actually looking for, you know? Yeah. So, and the same about age, you know? If you think you're too old to start, well, guess what? There are more roles for women in their 45, uh, like age 45 in their 40s than their let's say a role for women in their 30s mm -hmm. because look at all those kids who need moms in the movies yeah exactly <laughs> so they all need moms so yeah i mean my agent actually just telling me like yeah keep doing what you're doing it doesn't matter mm -hmm. when you start you will find your niche yes it will take time it will take of course, a lot of yeah. effort it will take a lot of rejection but if you are consistent about it mm -hmm. you will make it there yeah so congratulations i know you have been uh chosen as a model of the year oh, in your agency you. i heard you yeah. <laughs> uh, i saw your uh, agent's comments that you're the most hard-working model in her oh, agency yeah. and she's so proud to name you a model of the of the year of 2017 so congratulations thank on that. you i'm sure it's yes. a lot of effort <laughs> goes into that but for you personally when do you, what will be an indication that I made it as a model or as an actress? Like, what is it hmm. will be a sign for you? Like, yes, yes, it all worth all the trouble or worth all the hard work. I made it. 
Um, what, what would it be that moment to you? That moment? Yeah. That's a really good question. Um, I think when, you know, when I will become stable in life and I'll be able to yeah, support myself, you know, all bills be paid mm -hmm. just from that one job, just from like acting and modeling, entertainment um, industry, mm -hmm. basically, yeah. And uh, obviously it's gonna come with a, either, you know, serious regular or getting a role in a movie. Mm. So yeah, I, I guess when I'll uh, be able to, you know, support, stand on my feet fully knowing that, you know, my main job mm -hmm. is this what I love to do. Basically, I made my hobby my main job. This is the one I will be able to say. I yeah. made it. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> because, yeah, it's, yeah. Especially, it's, um, it's, it's a struggle for many people in this industry, a model and an yeah. acting where you have to create um, additional supplemental incomes because the jobs are coming so mm -hmm. unevenly. You know, it may be a crazy busy for you and you constantly on send, you constantly get paid and then it can be very slow and no jobs are coming in. You're yeah. auditioning uh, one audition after another after another mm -hmm. and you still don't get booked. So, you know, it's it takes a lot of actual you know, planning and preparation. Yeah, uh, a lot, yeah. Uh, to be able to, you know, budget when you're in those uh, industries. And also, I see a lot of people going and, you know, creating their own businesses, you know. Because yeah. you need that flexibility mm -hmm. where, you know, when something, the project they want to work on comes up, you want to be able to work on it at, mm -hmm. at that particular time. time. And in our industry, everything changes so fast. Like, sometimes oh, yeah. we know about things like a night before, mm -hmm. two, three days before. I mean, unless it's like some um, big shoot where they plan it, hopefully at least a couple months in advance. You know? Yeah. <laughs> but there's so it's many really jobs. Hard. Yeah, so many jobs are coming just the very last minute, you know. And you yep. have to have this flexibility. And, you know, I know some people who supplemented that it was real estate, was writing books, was, mm -hmm. you know, creating blogs and stuff like that. So they, they're looking for those creative jobs where they have flexibility and income at the mm -hmm. same time and they're able to do what they love to do what they love yeah yeah but at the same time i i know how hard it is just to go to a regular job back yeah. after you've been in this area and in this career it's it's almost impossible to sit at the desk all day and yeah and wonder what could we be doing instead <laughs> exactly yeah like um i have you know i try to work you know 100 million jobs you know and just just so I just now just came to realization that um, this is why I cannot take you know office job. This is because of the auditions, you know. Because like I've had so many cases when my agent would just call me and be like, "Hey, where are you at right now? Come to this audition." And you'd be like, "Oh, I'm on the clock, but okay, let me talk to my manager." <laughs> you know, you can do like, like you know one, twice a month. And then, but when it comes like you know all the time thing, mm -hmm. you can. That's why I feel like when you until you made it. The best jobs are yeah, either create your own uh, company business or just work something uh, like uh, at night, like uh, you know, I don't know, security uh, waitress. That's like you know those cliche jobs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the struggling actors and models are trying yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean. You know, I, I just believe you don't really have to. I mean, it's a simple. I think it's a simple solution to do something mm -hmm. like a waitressing or, mm -hmm. you know, as you said, uh, some night job. But at the same time, I, I feel like, you know, people who are really happy, they, they kind of find the hobby which pays. Exactly. And which yeah. is kind of related to the industry. I know some people who work as a personal shoppers and stylists. Mm -hmm. I know people who work as photographers, even like for real estate photographers, you know, when yeah, all those yeah. houses go on sale, you know, they uh -huh. need somebody to take those pictures. So, you know, I, I always look for ideas like that. Mm -hmm. And actually I'm planning to post um, a, a new blog um, post about that. What income can you actually create yeah. as a as a creative person you mm -hmm. know like what would it be so that you're not ashamed to say hey i'm a full-time actor i'm a full-time model and yeah you know i'm actually making enough money to to be called that because mm -hmm. I, yeah. I don't do you get that feeling sometimes when uh, people ask you what you do and you say i'm an actor and a model they kind of look down at you a little bit like, yeah did you get that mm -hmm. unless unless your face is all over tv i guess over TV, yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, i don't know i never heard of you yet yeah exactly yeah <laughs> it's like okay well oh yeah <laughs> I think, I think I have another problem. Like people are constantly texting me messaging. I'll see you there. I'll see you over there. It's like, 
uh, me and my husband, we were part of a paternity court recently, mm-hmm. and I know there's going to be a bunch of episodes with our faces. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> and I start getting messages, I saw you on paternity court. I'm like, yeah, I know. I hope I wasn't asleep. Yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> it's just like one of those jobs, like when you take between the serious projects. You yeah, know? and you're like, oh. <laughs> but, I mean, it was fun, you know. So yeah, As long as you have fun, you know. Yeah. So yeah. what, uh, I mean, being a model, does it help you in like a dating let's say that's a question i always wanted to ask like does it help you or do or does it create more problems you know what um when i was uh, um back in the europe being you know um you know in the high school Mm -hmm. and i was always thinking i was like oh i just want i hope one day i'll become a model and just prove everyone that i'm not an ugly baby Mm -hmm. not how you know a bunch of you know different guys you know all the dates and flowers, chocolate, you know, mm-hmm. and, um, and now with uh, the modeling industry, um, I see, yeah, you get like, you know, atten- you get attention from people, mm-hmm. but does it, is, does it help on dating life? Um, I probably see, you know, not really, it just depends. I guess it just depends who, who you meet, you know, do you feel like some people want to date models? Is a kind of like a trophy day? Just to just to say I'm dating a, my mm. girlfriend is a model. Yeah, or I'm taking a party to the party a hot girl. Yep. You know, have you have you you know encountered people like that? Yeah, I've encountered people like that, and then that's when I realized that uh, just because I'm a model, it doesn't mean that my man will be you know super loyal to me and everything. Mm-hmm. He just wants to have a flower near him. Right, but. Attention. Attention, yeah, just for the for the picture, overall picture all around the people. Mm-hmm. How to say, like, recognition, you know. But then at the end of the day, you're still the same person. Mm-hmm. But, but there's no cameras, no people around. So, yeah, I feel like a lot of people just, you know, try to, um, just to have that recognition and, you know. Just at, at popularity points. Popularity society. points, yeah. But I feel like, yeah. Isn't I mean I I encountered that and I, and I thought it was uh, kind of sad but it was sad yeah you know it's like so you don't really you know interested in me because I'm smart and right you know, yeah and, and I read books sometimes yeah and, and I I can have a conversation with you I I literally had dates when I would date a guy for four to six months. Mm-hmm. And we hardly ever had any conversation. Like we don't really yeah. know anything about each other. I would, I would, I would probably don't even know his last name. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's, that's sad. You know, and it's like you go on all these dates and all these restaurants and parties, and your only conversation at what time you're gonna pick me up and what are you wearing? Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like they kind of look at you as a, an accessory. Accessory, yeah. More than you know, as I, I have, I have something to talk about exactly (laughs) yeah like i actually have talent you see i don't understand you um i've been on you know dates and all people will tell me they're like oh you just you just uh you just model that's it or they would say oh models you know they like they expect you to be dumb right yeah they would say like oh so you're just stupid you know just take pictures and i'm like wait a minute you know i can write on a good essay you know Mm -hmm. i can count I can show you my skills, I can run, I can cook, you know, like, mm-hmm. there's so many different skills that people just don't see because they just look at the pretty picture and then just ignore the fact that that pretty girl can actually... Actually can cook. Right. It can box, run. Exactly, <laughs> she can right. Run <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell serious. some cool stories, uh, history facts, mm-hmm. you know. So, have you ever mo- uh, dated a models, guys' models? Um, yeah. Mm-hmm. Have you, you know, um... A lot of people, sometimes they say like, oh, I would never date, you know, model or, or actor. Um, it's hard because, you know, whenever you date a model or an actor, um, they are good looking. So, so they will always have attention. Yeah. How do you, how, how did you deal with that attention that your partner gets? Oh, and, always jealous. Oh, you, you were jealous, <laughs> right? Yep. Okay. And I'm the same way, uh-huh. you know, and then this is why it's like trust is, this is why people say trust is one of the biggest things in relationships because... You have to trust each other, you know, mm-hmm. because when you have two good-looking people going out, yeah, <laughs> you know, glances everywhere. Right, right, right. She glanced at you, she glanced at me, you know, and then there's an argument. And it's oh, like, no, gosh. you have to, like, you know, as long as you trust each other, 
this is yeah yeah i actually me and my husband like those of you who um followed our show for a long time you know that my husband was also an actor and mm -hmm. we actually have this discussion quite often like we work yeah. together on many sets and some women are just i don't know how to call explain it <laughs> in your, I don't know in language <laughs> but they just don't respect boundaries of the marriage i, I mean know, the man crazy. has a ring on his hand he has his wife next to him and they still flirting and trying to be disrespectful and yeah. i it's sometimes it's just i'm, I'm very proud of my good looking husband you know mm -hmm. and, and the same with him like i'm just trying to network and bring mm -hmm. people to the parties or yeah. as friends and he's like how does he know you you know why is he here and like i invited 100 people only three showed up they yeah. happen to be single men what can i do <laughs> exactly <laughs> so yeah i mean it's like it, it's 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 great uh, I mean, it's not like I want to date somebody who's not good looking, even though I did. I mean, the look doesn't really matter. It's more yeah. like a personality. Like, I sometimes dated people where everybody would ask me, like, what do you see in that person? I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, it's so yeah, it's so yeah. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, yeah, I see that extra layer of conversations you mm -hmm. have to have. Because sometimes it's, you know, a man flirting just because he enjoys the popularity, you know, and yeah. all the attention. And sometimes it's just other person totally disrespects the boundaries and, yeah. you know, does respect the, the marriage. And sometimes, and, and we try not to say, hey, we're married all the time. But mm -hmm. at the same time, people who know us long enough, they know we're a couple. So, yeah, yeah it's, I, I, I understand what you're saying. Like, we had quite a few arguments about that. Mm -hmm. and we're trying to work through it. And, and, I, really I, and yeah. I'm afraid that, you know, the more we are in this industry, the, the, you know, more famous you become, the, the yeah. more visible your relationship become, the more events you have to go, the, yeah. the more pressure it is to on a marriage. You yeah. know, it's like when when you're in this industry, and I hope I will be one of those. You know, like Jada Smith, yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, Smith couples. You know, or Meryl Streep who managed mm -hmm. to be you know, together for decades. So yeah. I hope we will make it. So you so, will. I believe in you. Oh, you know, I so, no, the best luck like, just. You know, just just have trust and just, you know, show people that, you know, he's well, fine. <laughs> we work on that, but, you know, there's yeah. so, so many beliefs that, you know, especially when you just got married, everything's supposed to be perfect. Mm -hmm. But the more I am in this marriage and the more I talk to my, you know, friends, the more I understand that it's just... Uh, it's it's a, it's a it's an illusion. It's a hard work every day. You know, you have to... It can be nice and quiet for a couple of weeks, but then it can be stormy, you know, oh, like yeah. arguments pretty much every mm -hmm. every other day. And it's, you know, it's just still part of the process. You're working out one issue, one issue is stepping away. There are new issues replacing mm -hmm. them. And it's a constant, yeah. co constant struggle. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Sometimes it feels like, you know, just, yeah. to, just to be married, just to love each other because yeah. you get on each other's nerves sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. What about you? So, are you married? Are you are you dating anybody? Are you are you single? Um, so... Yeah, I'm single. Oh, okay, single. Guys. Yeah, okay, we I'm have here. A single model here in the city, right? So. Yeah. So, waiting on my prince. On. So you still waiting for horse. the prince or a real guy? You know, <laughs> I, I I live with both. <laughs> <laughs> you want the real guy, but who can be a prince sometimes? Yeah, exactly. From time to time. Okay. Exactly. So, okay, that's great. So, um, do you date a lot? Are you kind of on a break right now? So, um, like a, I'm like a, the person that when I date, like I want to date you forever for the rest of my life. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be together, you know, all the time. So yeah, I haven't dated that much. In I only had like. Only the three boyfriends, that's not much, oh you know. Gosh, yeah. yeah, I'm 25. Um, but, you know, I've been on some dates, but, you know. It takes time to find It somebody. takes time, yeah. And, uh, you know, that's why I'm waiting for, like. And, you know, like, it, it, I think it's something people don't realize, but usually a good-looking people are the ones who have trouble dating sometimes. Yeah, you know, like, that's so true. <laughs> I mean, and I'm, I'm not talking about somebody taking you for dinner or taking mm -hmm. you out. I'm talking about the relationship. Yeah. Like, I know I didn't date anybody for almost like six years. Like, mm -hmm. I was in a very intensive dating where I was like, you know, dating somebody all the time, nonstop, not taking mm -hmm. breaks. And then suddenly I was like, you know what? I'm so tired of all this like meaningless dating. I yeah. just want to understand who I am. I want to focus on my career. I want to focus on 
on school, you know, I want to get to know myself. I want to just take a break. And mm -hmm. I took a, a long break. From so you joined your channel. And I think even too long. But, um, you know, and then I went back to dating. And I was dating like three times a day, different guys, you know, mm -hmm. until I met my husband. But he told me the same thing. He said that the most difficult for him was to meet anybody and date anybody. But he was working for MBA. He was a model, and he was driving Mercedes computer. He couldn't get a date. Wow. <laughs> because everybody would be like, oh, you're too cute, you're too handsome, uh, you drive an expensive car, you work for a basketball, you know, mm -hmm. NBA team, mm -hmm. and there are probably millions of girls at your, at your feet, and yeah. you're just using them and nice. collecting dates. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't the case. And he's a, a handsome, very kind, very smart mm -hmm. person. Yeah. And he couldn't get a date. Uh, what, he's like, girls were just like, you, you, um, come on all him. Because oh, when they see him in person, he was too handsome. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's crazy. See, that, the struggle is real. <laughs> the struggle is real. So it's not just you, you know? Because that's why yeah. so many people are surprised to find out that you're good looking, mm -hmm. you have a career, you 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 know everything that seems to be perfect in your life and you're single yeah but like is it yeah, well, if, if, i'm not going to be here much longer oh, i'm only going to be here like another half hour just got a couple I things to talk about check uh, yeah also and, uh, uh, i guess i can see picky what what picky right, i have I'm, a I'm stand, not be here so much basically okay. as long as i value loyalty the most you know mm -hmm. so as long as i see that the person is loyal then I'm like, okay, well, like, come on, if, like I, you know, uh, uh, date with a guy, on another date, and then I see him right, now on Instagram fine. stories, you know, Facebook, like, it's like, oh, you told me the homework, why is right? that now that like, right? Because, like, yeah, and I'm like, okay, like, no, it's not going to work out, you know. Like, I had that, I was like, I need some time, I'm doing my PhD, I'm finishing my finishes, I'm like, okay, and I'm going for a girls' night out with my girlfriends, and what do I see at the bar? Mm-hmm. The guy like, who's working on his PhD. Yeah. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, are you serious? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, that was his last PhD. Uh, he excused to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he, he, he never like, did mention that. You're free to do, you know, your work from now on. So yeah. I won't be in your life. You know, I don't well, like... Gave, you were giving me. Yeah, 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 so, one of those, those but then, you know, my husband will tell you, like, you get so many times in trouble mm -hmm. by telling the truth yeah but i always say like you better tell me the truth i might be mad at you mm -hmm. before we might have an argument yeah but i will respect you on the end of the day because you told me the truth yeah exactly yeah yeah so so what what makes it perfect daddy i'm sorry there are a lot of uh, single guys who sit there and say like oh, oh my gosh yes. <laughs> oh i love talking about relationships uh, oh yeah that's my so, topic <laughs> so what is it you look at like, what what tells you like yes he's the one I want to with him? Yeah, I say um, but now I see that they are like kind and caring. Mm -hmm. Of course, I say loyalty is my number one thing. Right? You know, just all the, I actually care about the most. But then of course it also has to be respect. The guy has to respect you, so you know we can see do some disrespectful stuff. Hey, how do you cares. spell rooting like I'm rooting for day, you? Have to, Open the door for you, mm -hmm. you know. Are you missing those? R O O T I N. Like in Russia and yeah. Lithuania, yeah. we grow up with certain expectations of mm -hmm. women, and I know yeah. in the United oh, States, yeah. it's not such it's a thing. I would. It's not the American men's friends. Yeah. Let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah. There are some guys in US who yes, open the doors for you, move your chairs, make you cold. Then you come up and you look at it. Exactly. That's just like, oh, but it's, that's so, the it, it's pretty rare, you know, pretty rare. Yeah. You know? Like, I remember when, you know, in Russia, you have to bring flowers or candy or something for the first day. Yes, same in Lithuania. Yeah. Yes. And, and here, just very few guys who actually came with the flowers. Yeah. I'm supporting you. Yeah. And they stood out. It doesn't mean I was dating them much, yeah. but I will definitely remember. It's like, okay. Yes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Uh, so, so, okay, so, um, would, would you disregard the, or would you try to teach the guy all those expectations? No, I've, uh, I've been in, you know, relationships where the guy didn't do those, you know, things, you know, that gentlemen do, and I would always... I have less said you thank know, you, Paul, but, um, I'll be talking. I say that, yeah, you can teach uh, a man, you know, to mm -hmm. do all these nice things, so that they care, all the gentleman part, but... 
at the end of the day, the man has to want to be a, a gentleman. Right. right. Yeah. Because when I was pushing, I remember, from, you know, the guy, I was like, come on, come on. He just got hired. And then I was like, you know what? You have to want to do all this. User in you know? your I'm not a man. <laughs> I want you to be a better person. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think that um, they can change if they really want to. Mm -hmm. They just User have to realize that. Right. And ex admit that, yes, I'm not well, a real gentleman. Well, I'm not going to do that right now. I just, just for right now. Some, you know? So, yeah, I really... Just want to I let them know, that, you know, we're going to promote You know, like, everyone is different. I know and, Donald doesn't want you know, to. As long as the person wants to, to improve himself. You'll work. But yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, work. I see that guys are still a part in of the fucking radio family. I can hear them in my ear. <laughs> <That's funny>. <laughs> <laughs> and do you know what? He can say what he wants. I don't know if they need you know what I mean? Power, uh, eight, look, I like the guys. Yeah. I'm trying to listen to both of you at the same time. Am I a bad influence? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, well, well, you know, so it was funny. You, uh, uh, that's what I meant to you know, say. And I kept forgetting. I goes, you know, my mother and father, when I first got arrested with my uh, how can they meet a girl like They tell me stay you know, away I'm, from them. Um, they're a bad influence. I've never been on a dating website. Really? Yeah. At no. 18, I'm still getting arrested. I don't know. Arrested. I just always thought that. And they're going to my friends when they come and pick I, me up. I wish Why I could Why are you hanging around? I met my friends on dating Really? Good. I should know. I have a friend. Yeah. I actually found dating websites. They're helpful. Really? Because I was so busy. I won't lie to you. And, um... I just found it, it's... I pushed you know, marijuana all person. my life. That, uh, you know, can go with the bar. I like to believe I'm part of the reason to why we legalized it. If mm -hmm. I could possibly do it, I told all my yes, friends, you did your you part. Them to introduce me to any good guys. They I smoke. Mm -hmm. you know, and but not only but smoke, I, I would go to other people that I had. You find... Well, we'll go to weddings, we'll go to all kinds of you don't smoke yet. Right. Right, yeah. especially yeah. when they were drunk, they throw up. Who's mm -hmm. bad? You don't yeah. smoke. But I felt it's like almost like a job. You, know, you, know, you know, when you're looking for a guy. I know it sounds, it sounds very pragmatic, but it's like you're a candidate with your resume, with mm -hmm. a profile, and you're just looking for anybody who applies, pretty much. I mean, I feel like we as women are in. Um, it, it's well, we have an advantage. Mm -hmm. on, uh, yeah. Because it's a guy's job to approach us. I yes. didn't write a single. No, I maybe write one or two. You know, I approached the guy. It's usually never ended well. Like, mm -hmm. in the guy. I mean, it's always better, I, I feel like, to choose how the guys to approach. And there are so many. Of them. That's true, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure if you sign up your first day, you're going to be Oh. I swear. Like, this is what my experience is. Do you know what I love about the sound effects that Donald does? I would be like, the, so. The best like, part of it is how much it pisses off Donald. Maybe a week off. Because, like, your phone is going to just go crazy from mm -hmm. all the user entered messages. Your channel. Wow. <laughs> what a lucky day. You know, it's like all the candidates. Yeah, yeah like I said, that was a lot of my experience. Doc. But he's not even trying to talk on the show. He talks on our show. He's not even, show. Lunch he's lunch not even trying to talk <laughs> on the show. Why are you like, what a set for? You know, I, I mean, I know we call him our sound guy, but he's allowed yeah. to talk. Like, okay, I'll be a but him and Dave have kind of a, a close right. point. You want to swing by. <laughs> kind of hard to tell which one <laughs> when they so talk. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, and I met quite a few interesting people. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. you probably will go on at least 50 dates before mm -hmm. you meet somebody who you want to go to a second mm -hmm. date with. Yeah. You know, but I try to make Such it fun. Struggle. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but I try to make it fun, you know. Um, you know, I would do things that I enjoy. I would go to places that I enjoy. Mm -hmm. And my life was very entertaining before I got married. Really? <laughs> yes, I was doing so much. <laughs> so we can, we can chat about it later. You yeah. Know, not on I'll the radio. Advice. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, it's, User a, it's your channel. a job. But, you know, what's most interesting, when you always meet the person change. that you were meant to be. Murder and a liar. When you least expect it. Really? That's yes. how I feel. Yeah. You know, it's... And it's usually, you know, at the time when you least expect it, and you just feel natural connection to it. This shit's got to end. But, as I said, if we're not allowed to do it, to they're not allowed. It's like, you know, opportunities, and you have to get a lot of rejections and a lot of um, no's, but 
when when it happens overnight it's just because mm -hmm. you are prepared this is through all the rejection through all the work through all the practice through all the additions that didn't book through all the photo shoots that yeah. <laughs> you know, was all not <laughs> paid, you know. Yeah. when you actually make it it's because you oh, are prepared mm -hmm. and because yeah that is kind of accurate you know thing, isn't people it? and you have a confidence and you it seems like it just was overnight success mm -hmm. and you just happen to be in the right place at the right time mm -hmm. I feel like this dating is the same. You have to build that confidence. You have to be able to talk to strangers, that's open so up, and read the people quickly. Yeah, I do it. Because what I think we that's do it? important skills that you develop, that mm -hmm. you learn how to recognize what's important for you. You have your standards, you know? Because sometimes we think, like, oh, I want my guy to be this, this, and that. When you start dating the guy, you're like, hmm, that's not enough, or yeah. it's not really making me happy. You know, so through this, or you feel like, well, even though this relationship didn't work out, I felt like this is what made me happy while I was with the person. Mm -hmm. So you kind of try to find something that is similar, mm -hmm. you know. So, and at the end of the day, when it happens, it just, it, I'm not saying everything is going to be easy, mm -hmm. but you are prepared for that moment. And you, you made yourself part of the nice fucking available, mm -hmm. you know, and it, and it happened, you know. But yeah, yeah you have to feel like, you just have this radiated energy about you, like, you know, I'm a happy person, I love my life. Yeah. And people are just drawn to you with that. You know, when yeah. you when you think less, like, oh, you know, like, I don't know if I'm gonna, how many more days do I have to go? Yeah, like, a, <laughs> how many more wine do I need to drink? I know, right? <laughs> how, much, how many more glasses of wine do I need to drink? Well, it's mean, actually true, yeah, now you're saying that, and that's what a lot of people, like, that's what you want on Pinterest. You see all these relationship quotes. That's what they say. You have to, you know, love yourself first, mm -hmm. and that's when uh, because you know the person comes. In your I, life. I also feel like you have to know who you are because mm -hmm. even if you met that person, you know they had their experiences. Yeah. Uh, growing up, they had their experiences, and you clash with those experiences. Like I don't know how many times I told my husband, and in the first it, it's pissed him off that I'm Irina. You either accept me or you need to find a person. Yeah. And I'm not saying that I didn't change anything, I did adjustments. I just like he did adjustments and we both wanted to make this relationship work. But I feel like he's not requiring me to be like his ex, for example. You know, somebody yeah. like ideal that he had in mind. I don't have to be that person like you know, he accepts me. He finally recognizes my personal value. And it takes confidence to insist on you have to love me. Mm -hmm. for who I am. You know, you, you, I don't need to be that other person you imagine you will be married to. Mm -hmm. I'm That's not so the fantasy. And you know, I'm a real person. Yes, I'm going to have, you know, something negative about me, something that this is the old, something that is just yeah. like you. You know, but yeah. you adjust. You adjust you like adjust, you. Yeah. And you change. Like, I remember, I always told myself, I will never date a guy who smokes. <laughs> and I actually broke up with several. Really? Yeah, they're like, <laughs> and my nope. <laughs> my husband was the most horrible snorer ever. Oh. He was snoring so bad. I, I couldn't so sleep. Funny. I tried so many different things for him to stop. <laughs> and finally he stopped. He doesn't snore anymore. See, yeah. when you accepted it, you know. <laughs> when I was like, okay, I learned how to sleep with it. That's why he stopped. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, well, I see, now it's gone. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I wish you the best of luck. I'm sure you'll get uh, a lot of messages. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> get this radio show <laughs> on the air and figure out that you actually not just not just beautiful you you are also a single person as of oh, right now so good thing <laughs> <laughs> well I, i'm sure that we're almost uh, finishing already we just have a couple minutes left but it's definitely a pleasure meeting you in person finally and i just um i'm just getting making sure that i don't miss uh, my comment that we are almost finished mm -hmm. um as i said i will definitely look forward to with you in the future mm -hmm. as an actress and as a model i think i still can learn a lot from you yeah, yeah. same from you you know <laughs> like i really want to say thank you thank you for oh, your absolutely. everyone i have uh, such an amazing experience it's so nice chatting with you, know, with you all you are my amazing friend and <laughs> model and you know when i first saw you 
And we uh, actually Raya. had some, um, you know, comments here on Facebook Live oh. from Natalia and nice. guys. <laughs> and guys have just been very shy, uh, you know, about <laughs> asking qu asking you questions. But I just hope in the future, with my future guests, you guys don't be shy. Ask questions. That's the only reason we're doing Facebook Live. Oh, yeah. Me. We could be just on the radio chatting. And, you know, the only reason why we, we actually showing our faces to you mm -hmm. is because we want you to ask the questions so uh next time don't be shy join us ask the questions ask away and you'll be able to listen to the replay of the show and of course we will follow um angelica's career and i yeah. hope uh, she'll be our guest uh, in the future again oh definitely uh, when some of those uh you know new roles are coming up your way and you know i forgot to ask i forgot to ask you about your future plans and your projects but that would be a reason for you to come back to come back tell exactly us, tell yeah. us about everything you're working on i think we i just got distracted with the idea that you're actually single <laughs> oh that's so funny <laughs> so you know like i was like okay let me let me figure that out you know i was always wondering you what's know? wrong right no 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 what's wrong but what it's like what it yeah. Yeah, how was it not how? Because you know, I I had my own experience, and I don't yeah. know how unique it is or how common it is, you know. So yeah, so you know, struggle is real. Struggle is <laughs> real. I, I and I've been there, you know. I I know yeah. exactly what you're talking about. So, but it will give us opportunity to come back and revisit, uh, you know, your career. And, Definitely. Um, and, and I hope to see you soon. I hope you guys all see Angelica soon and uh, big roles on TV. Oh, and thank uh, you. you know, more beautiful <laughs> pictures on her Instagram. Please follow her Instagram. I posted all the links uh, on our yes. page behind the Velvet Rope with Irina. Follow her on Facebook and Instagram, and she put some amazing art out there. You know, some beautiful, try. <laughs> beautiful images. Um, hey, wake up! I know you will have fun. So that's all for today. You guys enjoy your weekend and happy Friday. Yeah. And we'll see you next week uh, with our next amazing guest. All the details on our page. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. I love you all. <laughs>